Title, after a decade apart, Iraqi PM and Syrian Prez rekindle diplomatic sparks. TLDR. After 10 long years, the Iraqi Prime Minister and Syrian President finally decide to catch up. Discussions were on everything from border security to drought impact. Oh, and let's not forget, they've planned to tag team against drug smuggling. Full turned up scoop. In a move that had diplomatic eyebrows worldwide going up faster than a rocket at a SpaceX launch, Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani decided to pack his bags and head over to Syria. This marked his first official visit to the war ridden nation since 2011. You heard that right, folks. It's been a decade long no see turned into long time no see. Over in Damascus, Syrian President Bashar al Assad was on hosting duties, probably laying out his best China and making sure the tea was piping hot. The two got down to business discussing their shared 600 kilometers border and how to make it more secure than a Swiss bank account. Now, here's where things get interesting. Amidst sips of tea, they discussed something pretty unexpected, drought. Yes, you read that right, no typo here. They actually decided to brainstorm on how to mitigate the impact of drought on their respective nations. Let's take a moment to let that sink in. And just when you thought the discussions couldn't get any more intriguing, they decided to add another item to their to-do list, drug smuggling. They agreed to join forces to reduce this menace, which, if we're being honest, is a move straight out of a Hollywood action flick. Is anyone else picturing a Mission Impossible, Middle East sequel here or is it just us? Now, we aren't ones to speculate here at Turned Up News, but we've got to ask. Is this rendezvous a sign of a blossoming bromance, or are these two nations just being pragmatic in the face of adversity? And more importantly, will their collective strategies against these crucial issues yield any substantial results, or is this all just tea and sympathy? And to cap it all off, we'd like to leave you with a little thought-provoking question. If diplomacy were a movie genre, would this scenario be a romantic comedy, an intense drama, or an action-packed thriller? Disclaimer, this article does not intend to provide investment, legal, or diplomatic advice nor does it reflect the views or recommendations of Turned Up News. As always, think for yourself, question everything, and most importantly, stay turned up. So, dear readers, what's your take on this decade-defying diplomatic dance? Is it a sign of things to come in the Middle East, or just another episode in the reality show we call International Politics? <laughs>